It is 91 year old Joseph Ambalasi's burial and mourners are gathered here in a circle. For a stranger, locating the casket carrying the remains of the let will be a Herculean task. The remains are however lying in this cupboard-like casket at the center of the multitude. <laughs> According to the elders here, not every member of the Angusi clan where the late Joseph comes from is accorded such a send-off. <laughs> Many questions still linger. Dead bodies are normally stiff, but Joseph's appear to have fitted inside this unique casket with ease. The task is executed by a specially appointed elder, and here 69-year-old Francis Hichoro says he speaks to the dead, making their legs and hands supple. Come on, a gofa. The requiem mass is then conducted by Legio Maria Church and shortly after elders take over. They direct the youth on handling the casket towards the grave. The grave was dug right in front of the dead's main house and he will be buried facing his house. His genitals, they say, must face the skies to ensure continuity of his generation. The burial ceremony then commences, punctuated with traditional and church songs. In a few minutes, it is filled with soil and in quick succession, Isukuti enthusiasts take the stage. Shortly after, two bulls arrive and are charged for the occasion. They seem to understand their role. They vigorously dig the soil heap with their sharp horns to flatten the grave. Women, according to the elders, cannot be accorded the send-off and the expectant ones should not be anywhere near the burial site. Arlan Ochanda, KTN News.